Hey guys, uh, I know that a few of you have been asking me to talk about this, so I thought I would put my two cents in. If you haven't heard, Jensen Ackles and his wife are going to be producing, or they are putting in the works, I should actually preface that very carefully, they are in the works with CW to make a supernatural spin-off prequel about John and Mary Winchester. Really, I am actually kind of confused at how this is going to be done, considering now that I'm re-watching season five, seeing them have these episodes where they go back in time and the whole establishment of John's complete unawareness to Mary's previous life is pretty evident. Yet somehow, they are going to somehow retcon the history of this show john didn't know anything or barely anything about hunting like sure he had the whole grandfathered in from the men of letters business but again he was kind of really aloof to it but the only thing i could think of that they would do and this is my kind of assumption is they're going to do something similar to that of walker and we're going to find out more about john winchester after Mary died and with hints of flashbacks of their lives. So they're going to turn it into even more of a melodrama. Again, I don't even know how this is possible because of just how clearly established it is that John didn't know who Mary was really. The fact that Andrew Dabb doesn't have anything to do with it is quite refreshing. It also is bringing in a producer, an executive producer from the show, who only worked on the show for a small portion of time. She wasn't there at the beginning, but she also wasn't there at the end which I find interesting. Robbie Thomason, I think her name is, but she was in from like 2010 to 2015. So, or 2016. So she was there with like in kind of the Jeremy Carver era. Kind of curious to see how they do this because I don't really know how they are going to do this. Also, this is very much speculation right now. Sure, they're talking about it. Sure, Jensen has an in with CW, but this will be the third attempt at trying to get a show off the ground about Supernatural. What I found actually the most interesting about it was the fact that Jensen didn't have any talks with Jared about it, and to the point that this was found out via Twitter. And at first I thought maybe this is kind of just a little bit of drama for the two of them, but then Jared did follow up questions about it being no, I actually had no idea what was going on, I'm a little bit pissed off about this. And if any of you have ever worked on a film set, if you've ever worked in the film industry, you'll know that film people are a little different. They just have this mentality that get the thing you want and then think about the person ladder. There is a camaraderie once you're on a set, but that's because everyone's forced to work together for so long, for such long hours, and friendships are born from it. But there is this drive that you need to be successful. You need to have this think about me first attitude. Like you don't get further when you're not thinking about the, the goodness of others. It's very harsh to put it that way, but that's how you succeed in this industry. It's why I would never ever want to be an actor. That whole not putting Jared in, not pulling Jared in on it, I actually can kind of understand it. Kripke is probably just like, you know what guys, you bastardized it by now. I keep making money from this, so yeah, I keep doing what you want to do. But the fact that Jensen didn't talk to Jerry at all, I kind of worry that this might build into something other. I know they say that they've talked it over and they've kind of been like, ah, oh, you know, we're all good now. It's good to talk to you again. <laughs> That's just a little bit because Jared was top build. He was higher build than Jensen was. I'm actually not surprised too much and just in terms of how the show was progressing toward the end of the of the show. I'm interested to see if it even gets actually greenlit. There's talks about it. They still have to do the pilot. I imagine they're going to do the pilot out here or they're going to try and do it in Texas. Either way, I know that there's probably a few people out here in Vancouver who are chomping at the bit for Supernatural to come back, especially the transport team that worked with them for something on 11 years straight. There are some people who would be excited to see this come back here, but at the same time I can understand the hesitancy to believe whether this is actually going to happen just because of the history of Supernatural spinoffs in the past. That's my thoughts on this. I think it might happen, but I'm still waiting to see if it even gets greenlit first. But what do you guys think? Are you guys on board with this? Do you think this is an interesting idea? Again, I don't really know how they're going to get around the whole fact that the premise of this show 
doesn't make any sense to me. The only thing I could think of is that they would do it after Mary dies. And then it's just kind of flashbacks. But then again, I am watching How I Met Your Mother right now, so I'm kind of imagining it like that, which would be really weird. <laughs> a sitcom slash monster hunting show. Anyways, that's all from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.